self-care and taking care of others. Welcome to Womb Moon Yoga. Yoga for women to help them feel free and joyful in their bodies and their relationships. So, what is your relationship with self-care? And do you find it natural to take care of others? I know that in our society, women are expected to be caretakers. I don't believe that this is natural for every woman. Some women embody these archetypes of a wife and a mother more easily. And for some, it's a struggle. So if you feel like you're one of those women who don't enjoy taking care of others, please know that it's okay. It doesn't make you less of a woman. And if it's your second nature to take care of others, uh, please feel into how do you do it. Do you do it from the overflow of your energy and love? Or do you do it at the expense of your own interests or even health? I mean, it's simple. It's pretty obvious. We first need to fill up our own energy tanks. We want to be really nurtured with love and joy. So then we can share it with our loved ones. However, in our society, we value patriarchal attributes so much. We value efficiency, productivity, and doing. So, feminine values of slowing down and being and just having fun and pleasure could be seen as really unimportant or even sinful. And we learn from the early age that in order to be loved and appreciated, we need to give, give and give, even if we don't feel we're receiving anything back, and even if we do it at the expense of our own bodies. So finally, I feel like we are changing this pattern now in our society. There is so much talk about how self-care is important and it's really good to feel how we finally are ready to birth this new paradigm where we know that if we give and we don't feel that it's coming effortlessly, then it means we are misusing our power. We are misusing our energy. And for those of you who possibly can't find time for self-care, I want to tell you that I feel you. I really know what it means to work hard, prioritize work, prioritize family, a child over my own interests and do it through pain and do it through exhaustion. So I know. And that's why this topic is so important for me. And in fact, that's why I'm writing a book on cyclic self-care because that's something that truly saved my life. And this video is the first in the series about self-care. It's just an invitation for you to feel into your relationship with care, whether it's care towards yourself or others. Sometimes we also feel that we are not worthy of care because we all might have a mother wound, some Women are more fortunate, some less, but we all carry some of it. And so I just want to say here right now that worthiness has no prerequisites. You don't need to do anything at all 
in order to be worthy of care and love. So, please share your thoughts, your feelings, maybe your questions about self-care in the comments below. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. We are going to explore what are the blockages to self-care. And then the video after that will be filling into self-care intention. And I'll introduce you to the morning self-care ritual. Thank you for watching. Namaste.